Hi. Well? Well, what? Well, how did it go with Charles Freer? Oh. I had to cancel at the last moment. Oh, Tom, whatever for? I had lunch with Jan. She wanted to talk something over. Well, couldn't it wait? Well, not really. It's a spur of the moment sort of thing. I see. Well, is she all right? Oh, it wasn't anything serious. I'm seeing Charles Freer tomorrow. Why don't you come? After all, it's your future as much as mine. Yes, I think I'd better. Make sure you get there. Huh. How's it going with the Arcadian? Hello, Mrs. Harvey. Hello, Sarah, my dear. How good to see you. Are you going anywhere exciting? Yes. I'm going to the theatre in Chichester. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you. Oh, Leo, there's a shepherd's pie in the oven, half for you and half for Jack. But I think it'll stretch for me. please. <laughs> Drive carefully and don't be too late. Uh, good night. Night. Shepherd's pie or gin and tonic? A uh, gin and tonic, at least to start with. Is Jan not around either? No. They gallivant, both of them. I'm the one that stays home these days. How would you like to race for Relton, as well as head a sales team? And I thought your visit was purely social. You haven't answered my question. It begs one or two from me. Well, go ahead. I'm not sure what they are. I know that somewhere they're about letting Ken down, deserting him at a bad moment. And I wonder whether stealing me isn't just another way for you to get back at him. Look, Leo, I admire loyalty, it but I think... It hasn't seemed like it. Well, then what am I doing here if not out of loyalty to you? I'm actually starving, Sarah. Can I interest you in the speciality of the house? Shepherd's pie. I thought it was between you and your mother. <laughs> for the past week, she's rung about now to say she'll be working late. I think she's got an account at that pizza place in town. What did I tell you? That'll be Mum. Take it, will you? Got my hands full. OK. Hello? Uh, yes, he is, but he's a... Well, I can get him for you if you'll hang on, Mr Parker. Uh, yes. Yes, I'll, I'll take a, a message. Certainly I will. What did she say? Pizza again? Hmm? Oh, yes. I thought I might find you here. Edward, I thought I was the only one in the building. You know, you're getting to be a difficult lady to track down. Well, I've only been here. Working late, you know, on the leisure wear catalogue. We have our first shoot tomorrow. Did you know I asked Abby to take the photographs? Oh, that's a marvellous idea. Yes, well, she refused. It's not her line of country, apparently. Well, perhaps I could persuade her. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why have not? You're only trying to help her. Well, it's far too late for one thing, and more to the point, I think the days of anyone persuading that young lady against her will are over. I still don't see the harm in merely The suggesting... harm, Edward, is that the last time you did, my son came off the worst. I'm sorry. I don't quite follow. You told Leo to stay away from Abby because of how it would look in the custody case. I didn't put it quite like that. Well, that's exactly the way they took it. It caused them both a lot of upset. Do you see what I mean? Yes, I see what you mean. Um, what did you say this chap was called? The designer? Julian Fitzsimmons. Hmm. Well, certainly different. Is that a polite way of saying you don't like them? <laughs> no, no. Would there be anything in the range for someone of my age? <laughs> Men of your age, Edward, are meant to be beyond such things. Let you believe it. Some of the biggest dandies I know are drawing their pensions and looking good on it. <laughs> Ginettos behaving themselves. Yes, thank you. Oh, 
darling. Why shouldn't I be interested in your business? Because it always leads to an argument between us. Mm. Maybe that's what we need. Perhaps we've spent the last six months not being totally honest with each other. Well, I see. Oh, I think I'm mainly to blame. You see, I've regarded you as an object of great value, which indeed you are. But object, well, that's where I've made a mistake. You're not my business, an arm of my career. You're my private life. And I'm not very good at my private life. And I have my critics. Alive? Who? <laughs> John Stevens. <laughs> kind of guardian parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> and what's he been saying? Oh, he reprimanded me for making you a present of that damn car. Oh, yes, Edward, the car. Oh, yes, the car. Mistake, perhaps. But only perhaps. How is it? <laughs> well, it's beautiful, of course, but that isn't the point. I spoke to Tom about it today. Oh, really? Yes, we had lunch. I have my critics too, you see. And I became a topic of conversation. Now, don't be silly. Tom thinks I should return the car to you. He did have the grace to add that I might find it just a little difficult. Look, darling. Why don't you make the decision about the car for yourself? Call it, if you like, a symbol of a new honesty between us. Now, if you see it as a down payment on your affections, then give me the keys. If not, enjoy it. It is, after all, only a car. <laughs> Do you know, Edward, you can be such good company when you're relaxed? Do you fancy something to eat? Hmm. What about sharing a takeaway pizza and a bottle of wine, and then you can help me with the text for this catalogue? It could do with your persuasive touch. Hmm. 